minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. Ignition. We have lift off. Shepard cleared the tower. <laughs> and New Shepard has cleared the tower on our way to space with our first human crew. Go, Jeff, go, Mark, go, Wally, go, Oliver. You are going to space. Whew. To see the to see the the, the, the glow of the, of the engine underneath the rocket just under our shoulders and to know that we've got a crew that is going to space, it, it, it just feels different, doesn't it, Gary? It is totally different. <laughs> our rocket went over Mach 3, and now they're coming floating back down at just about 15 or 16 miles an hour, about to join us home back here in West Texas after having gone over the Carbon Line, the internationally recognized line of space, the world's newest astronauts. Gary, how are you holding up, friend? <laughs> I, I am speechless. All right, guys, so that is Amazon founder and billionaire. I think he is the world's richest man. Uh, Jeff Bezos going into space with just the tip, okay? Just the tip, right? And uh, the tip landed uh, safely back to Earth. And, um, you know, you would think that this moment would be a, a, a moment that, you know, a lot of people would appreciate but that's actually not the case as a lot of people <laughs> really 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 uh don't like the billionaire space race that we're seeing right now right the uh race to uh start the space tourism industry which is an industry that i'm, I'm very very excited about I, I hope that in my lifetime i'm able to at least go one time right i've always been very interested in space I mean, that's why I, I love Trump for the things that he done in regard to uh, space funding for NASA and, um, you know, Space Force. Right. I, I think that is the next frontier, um, not just for humanity, but for capitalism. Right. Um, there, there's going to be trillions of dollars made off of space. Right. Um, and I'm excited about it. And I'm glad that, you know, these billionaires for, again, as flawed as they are, <laughs> all men are flawed. Uh, I'm glad that they, they are taking the risk and innovating to get us there. Now, some of them are, you know, funded by the government, right? Some of them are living off the taxpayer dime. Um, however, like I said, I mean, you know, th this is kind of how innovation works. But everybody doesn't see it that way. As uh, Tulsi Gabbard um, <laughs> came out and reminded us that she is a progressive, right? And she says that... The only problem I have with Bezos Blue Origin space rocket ship into outer space is that it's going to come back. Okay, so she's essentially implying that um, she did not want uh, Jeff Bezos's rocket to come back down. She wanted Jeff Bezos's rocket to stay up there forever. Right. <laughs> he would be doing the world a favor. Right. And um, I'm assuming that Bezos didn't have any food or anything like that. Uh, so I, I would assume that she may or may not be wishing something very bad happens to Bezos. That's how a lot of these people feel about Bezos. They really hate him a lot, right? And uh, again, this is a reminder that for, you know, all the things that uh, Tulsi has said that has been um, applauded by conservatives, specifically on certain social issues, uh, she's still a progressive, right? She's still a progressive at the core, okay? Also... Uh, Blue Origin, before they actually did this um, launch, they did a uh, photo shoot in which they're basically celebrating that their astronaut is going into space, right? <laughs> People took issue with this uh, because technically, if, if you do go into suborbital flight, uh, you are an astronaut, right? You're an astronaut at that point. <laughs> but a lot of people did not like this. As uh, the war revolutionaries, uh, not Elon Musk here, he, he wished them luck. <laughs> 
<laughs> did not like this. Okay, as um, uh, some people had a problem with the diversity in the picture, right? They, they said that the flight to space from Elon Musk uh, was too white, right? <laughs> it was too white. By the way, um, this crew here, this guy right here, um, he's an 18-year-old, right? I forget his name, but uh, the way that he actually got on board of this flight is that uh, the person that uh, one of the seats was auctioned off, right? And uh, it was auctioned off for $28 million. Now, the person that won this auction, again, for $28 million, uh, decided at the last minute that, hmm, I have a scheduling conflict um, and I have some tasks that are more important than uh, going into space. So therefore, I'm going to have to, you know, give my ticket up, right? So this guy, uh, I think his, his father was probably the runner up and probably gave him the ticket. I, I believe that's the story. So again, a lot of people pissed off about stuff like this, right? Because they see it as, as wasteful. These are just rich people flexing on us earthlings, okay? Uh, <laughs> this person says, looks like some are getting a little salty because the title astronaut it is only reserved for the... 0.0001% of government approved personnel anymore. Get with the time dinosaurs. The more uh, access people have to space, the better it is for our species. I 100% agree. <laughs> people on Earth are suffering and selfish rich people aren't doing what they could to solve problems here. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> rich entitled spending their billions while the world is in turmoil. How about feeding the poor, housing the homeless? I found it all disturbing and selfish. Uh, stop calling tourists astronauts. Being an astronaut is a job, a career. These people are taking a glorified elevator ride for fun. They won't even make it to orbit. No definition of astronauts should include space tours. Astronauts is an insult to actual scientists who go to space and knock it off. Could we be a little bit more humble by not calling high altitude jumbles astronauts? Oh my God. Oh my God. Hooray. The masses cheer for private enterprise as we send billionaires into space as they hoard money and resources and destroy the environment. Will it be a hurrah when all the same billionaires ditch us on a planet that no longer sustains human life for a lifeboat in space? Oh my goodness, man. So listen, uh, I, I, a lot of people have issues with this right a lot of people went off in the comment section because um they see this as wasteful right they don't see the whole picture now um my my, my opinion is this and i've talked about this before but i i i want to kind of address some of the progressive backlash in regards to this whole space race thing uh and i'm pretty sure some conservatives don't like it either right um but regardless here's the thing for as much as people don't like people like jeff bezos and i'm not really trying to defend them Okay, he does own the Washington Post, which is basically just a liberal media propaganda outlet at this point. But I'm just saying, in order to innovate, right, the, the, the things that we all know and we love, right, the, the, the technology that we use, um, the things that have made our society function, that has improved people's lives, have come from the so-called space race. Okay, they, they've come, a lot of this stuff has come from the fact that we have put humans into space, Right. And, um, you know, a lot of that has been done through, you know, government funding and whatnot. But I'm, I'm just excited to have the private sector get in on this, even if, again, some of the money is from the government. A lot of the money is from the government. But I'm just saying. Right. I, I think that this is going to open up the opportunity for uh, infrastructure in space. Right. It's going to open up opportunities for us to go back to the moon, uh, potentially to go to Mars and essentially to carry humanity forward. Right. To ensure the survival of our species long term. Right. And that to me, I think is really important. And for all these people that want to scream climate change, climate change, climate change. These are the guys that are essentially investing the resources into fighting climate change. Right. These are the people that are trying to fight this stuff. Right. That's what Elon Musk is doing. Right. With all his companies, with Tesla, Solar City, even though, you know, there's a debate as to whether or not. You know, these electric vehicles are actually as environmentally friendly uh, as some people want to claim. But regardless, right, that's what they claim they're trying to do. They're, they're trying to solve these problems. And, you know, to a certain extent, I, I do appreciate capitalists who are smart and they're willing to take the risk uh, of doing th things like this. Because ultimately, these are the type of people that help create jobs, create industry, right? 
along with consumer demand as well, right? It, it takes both. It takes innovators to spur demand, but also takes, you know, consumers to want something, to desire something. I think there is demand and desire for people to go to space. If there wasn't, I don't think they would be doing this, okay? Um, you know, apparently, it, it's a thrill. Apparently, once you get up there, uh, you experience that that weightlessness. Apparently, that's a, a, a pretty exciting, pretty crazy experience, right? So I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to do this, right? And ultimately, th this is going to lead to better human experience. It's going to lead to... Uh, again, more innovation and ultimately, you know, it's going to improve people's lives, right? Uh, you know, for as much as people want to complain about, you know, hunger and all these problems, I'm not saying they don't exist, but they're significantly better than they were a hundred years ago, right? And the reason why is because of innovation, because of technology, because of capitalists, right? All these people that love socialism so much, if you love it so much, you, you have to realize you give up the innovation, right? And if you're mad at Jeff Bezos, for doing what rich people do, which is avoid taxes, avoid the government uh, stealing their money to invest, to do other things, then you really should be mad at the government for not enforcing their own rules. You shouldn't be mad at Jeff Bezos and the billionaires for uh, doing what anybody would do, right? What people should do is to legally avoid paying taxes, right? If the government allows you to do it, then I do it. Now, if Jeff Bezos is doing something illegal, again, that's up to the government to enforce. You have to be mad at the government for not enforcing that. You can't be mad at him for doing that, okay? And I also know some people have issues with, you know, the way he runs Amazon, the way he runs his company. I'm like, listen, I'm not saying everything that Amazon does is right, okay? I'm not saying the way they treat their workers is right, but, I mean, at the end of the day, um, they do provide $15 minimum wage. They do provide health care, okay? There may be some conditions working at the place that may not necessarily be right, but, they have the basics in terms of what you guys have been asking for. You asked for health care and you asked for $15 minimum wage. Jeff Bezos provided that. Okay? You you can't get everything. And ultimately, you got to put responsibility on those workers to put themselves in a better situation where they don't have to work for a company like Amazon. It's up to those workers to put themselves in a situation where they don't have to work for a company like Amazon. It goes both ways, man. That, yes, there's going to be capitalists that are going to exploit workers. But it's also on the workers to avoid being exploited, right? To uh, increase their skills so that they can demand uh, fair treatment and fair labor and the benefits that they deserve on the labor market. It, it has to work both ways. Again, I'm not trying to defend Jeff Bezos per se. I, I, I just think that there's a lack of appreciation for rare individuals and rare human beings who are able to push humanity to new innovations and, and to create jobs and to push us forward to prosperity, right? Because for as much as people think that the world is getting worse, it's really getting better to a certain extent, right? Yes, we have more problems, but those problems ultimately will be solved and then there will be more problems. That's just how it works, right? But ultimately there's less hungry people today uh, because of technology. There's less suffering today because of technology. Again, there may be other issues that we're dealing with, but I, I just have an, a strong appreciation for capitalism and what capitalists bring to this world right and that's why i appreciate um you know this whole flight by jeff bezos and virgin galactic and richard branson you know and if you want to take advantage of it personally maybe you want to invest in these companies on the public uh stock market right uh virgin galactic is is a public traded company uh blue origin is not but maybe it will be right and that way you can benefit from some of the same things they benefit from <laughs> then that's just my opinion on that but let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.